Major With me rising to the tax, seven till the last. You man, known that shall receive and prize their right. Give you close the world with hope and light. Six.
In May 2010, she was promoted to lecturer. 2017, promoted to senior lecturer. April 2023, she applied for promotion to the rank of associate professor. Let's consider some of her personal qualifications. In 1996, she was a state registered nurse, SRN. <laughs> Fellowship fellow, West African Postgraduate College of Nursing and Midwifery. <laughs> Foundation fellow, Ghana College of Nurses and Midwives. Some personal associations of our inductee. These include, in 1996 to date, the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association. 209 to date, fellow, West African College of Nursing. 209 to date, Sigma Theta Tau International. 208. To date, Nurse Educators Group, Ghana. 2016 to date, Foundation Fellow, Ghana College of Nurses and Midwives. <laughs> Dr. Stella Apia has a vast teaching experience. Twenty sixteen to date, she was adjunct an adjunct faculty, hematology, Department of Ghana College of Nurses and Midwives. Twenty twenty one to date, adjunct faculty, Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. Twenty ten to twenty twelve, lecturer, Department of Nursing, Valley View University, Accra, Ghana. Twenty seventeen to date. Senior Lecturer, Department of Nursing, School of Nursing and Midwifery, Valley View University. Our gallant inductee has taught several subjects since her engagement as a faculty. Among them are the following. Management and Leadership in Nursing and Midwifery. Medical nursing intervention. Medical nursing intervention two. Medical nursing intervention three. Surgical nursing intervention one. Surgical nursing intervention two. Surgical nursing intervention three. Perspective of nursing. <laughs> The inductee has several publications to her credit. Let me just mention a few for the sake of time. Apia S. N. Osei, E. A. Twenty Twenty Three. People keep starting, staring at you in public. That's one of the publications. Osei, E. A. Apia, S. Conto, S. Mensa, S. Bafu Ewia, Dr. Menla, and A. Beidu, M. 2022, pediatric, pediatric nurse patient, pediatric, pediatric nurse patient, communication, practices at Pentecost Hospital, Medina. A qualitative study, International Journal of Nursing Sciences. 481, page 481 to page 489. Apia Yeo, Apia S, Otibuadi, Yi Opon Besi, A Bafo, Ewea D Asiedu, P O N L T O T Boatin, 2022. Practices of herbal management of malaria among trading mothers in Shai Osuruku, 
districts. We have a tall list of publications to the credits of our sister. Shall we give her a round of applause? <laughs> the following are some of the papers. The following are some of the papers our inductee has presented at conferences and seminars. Webinar presentation facilitated by the Association of African Universities. Title, Quality Assurance, Online Teaching and Learning, including Assessment, date 31st May 2021. Fourth Annual General Meeting and Scientific Session of the Ghana College of Nurses and Midwives. The paper title is Electronic Health Records in a selected hospital in a peri-urban community in Accra. Date and venue, 8 to 10th, October 2019, Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Social Sciences Center, Accra. As I said, our sister has a tall list of publications to her credit. Let's look at some of the scholarly and professional affiliations our sister is into. 2016 to date, Foundation Fellow, Ghana College of Nurses and Midwives. 208 to date, Nurses Educators Group, Ghana. 209 to date, fellow West Africa Postgraduate College of Nurses and Midwives. 1996 to date, Ghana Registered Nurses Midwives Association. At this time, let's look at some of her research interests. These include quality nursing, education, and clinical outcome, which allow her to explore the role quality place in nursing and midwifery education and practice. Her research also covers adult health outcomes in the area of non-communicable diseases, such as sickle cell disease, cancers, infertility, among others. Stella is also interested in researches on administrative issues and how they affect organizations such as leadership styles, empowerment, job satisfaction, performance appraisal, governance, motivation, communication, among others. Teaching competences. Interacting with students. Flexibility and adaptability. Classroom management. Collaborative teamwork. Communication skills. Good at communication. Organization and planning of teaching and learning. Able to identify student needs. Let's consider some of the honors our inductee has received. Winner, Professor Lydia Azaito Research Award 2021. <laughs> Best Lecturer, Department of Nursing, SRC Awards, VVU 2018. <laughs> Benny Meritus Plaque of Distinction during PhD graduation 2016. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with this, I think I have covered the profile of our gallant in the team, in the person of Dr. Stella Apia. Doc, you are warmly welcome.
and congratulations. <laughs> Before I resume my seat, I will humbly invite the Vice Chancellor to give his welcome address. Shall we give him a hand of applause? After such a speech, should we even continue to talk? <laughs> Thank you, Acting Registrar, for such an um, inspiring and tall list of achievement for uh, the lady that we are going to honor today. Thank you very much, Council Chair, Pro Vice Chancellor, key officers, ADCOM members, deans and HODs, convocation members, faculty and staff, SRC executives and students, members of the university press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. And welcome to the induction ceremony of Dr. Stella Apia. We salute Dr. Stella Apia and family, especially our own Professor John Apia. <laughs> Prof, can you stand up? Please. Let's. let's <laughs> He is a trailblazer. And after he was honored last year wow. as the uh, associate professor, I knew that he was gradually pulling the wife in. <laughs> Thank you, Prof, for your new endeavors. And we are praying that the Lord will raise you to a different height to benefit the university. Thank you. Valley View University has a long tradition of supporting faculty development through successful programs and initiatives. During Professor Sedlai's administration, the foundational structures and infrastructures were laid for a successful journey towards faculty development. Professor Boas Turner saw the popular pronouncement of publish or perish where many of our faculty members bent the candle to produce articles in local and international journals. Professor Bedi Akun's time saw the promotion of terminal degrees for all faculty members. During his administration, the university saw about 15 or more faculty members graduating with their PhDs. This administration has continued the tradition of faculty development by ensuring that every faculty member is encouraged to rise to the next level and beyond in academic and career advancement. This administration is gradually removing all the man-made hurdles, barriers that stood in the ways of faculty members receiving their promotions. In fact, it is not only faculty members both teaching and non-teaching staff members are equally seeing seen a rising tide of promotion in recent times. As of April 2022, the number of associate professors the university could boast of were less than five. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Within a short period of time, the number has reached 11, and now you can clap. I must confess that none of these six additional ones that have been promoted recently were hurried through the process, no, or filled the criteria established by our university. They are all the six qualified, and for some, the VC himself had to pick up the phone to call assessors to do their work, else their work would be taken to someone else. As internal barriers were broken to enhance our deserving faculty members to be recognized, and I must say that a university without uh, associate professors or professors is not grown or matured, but we are leading in Ghana with over 40 something years since we started this business, and we deserve 11 associate professors plus more, plus more. <laughs> However, it is clear through strategic planning and self-study 
the Valley View University competing in the mesh of public and private tertiary education landscape in Ghana can do considerably more to help faculty and staff members advance professionally. In the months and years ahead, before the end of this quinconium, that will be next year, we are going to build a more inclusive and welcoming community for faculty across all ranks and disciplines, especially for women and members of minority groups. So far, we have three down of the women as professors, and we are praying that we will have more. <laughs> committed, committed to advancing faculty development, your vice chancellor will not rest as we pursue rigorous attempts to improve faculty and staff promotions for all deserving members of the university community. Faculty and staff, you will remember the goal we established in 2022 to increase the number of new associate professors for our university by a maximum of, who remember that? By a maximum of 10. That was the goal we set in 2022. To increase the number by 10. I'm proud to say that six is down. Four more to go. Yeah. Can we achieve that? Yeah. Four more to go. Yeah. Not only at the professorial rank, both senior lecturers and senior research fellows ranks are also considered. I challenge you, who will be next? <laughs> who will be next? <laughs> At this time also, I want us to pause to congratulate our dear brother, Dr. Abdullah Isaka. Is he here? Is Abdullah here? Okay. Who has also been promoted during the same period to a senior lecturer at this same period? To define and prioritize the faculty development needs within our university community with the goal of creating a vibrant and diverse faculty and training community, the following mandates are critical. One, career support and mentoring uh, to establish expectations and programs to help new and existing faculty members advance their careers and feel more connected to the VVU community by organizing true cares. Center for Adult and Center for Academic Research and Engage, uh, you pass my test, <laughs> by annual career conferences and symposia, semester-based colloquiums, mentoring sessions, career support and fairs, research-based faculty orientation programs. And also, number two, through appointments and promotions, to streamline the faculty promotion process, we need a policy review to promote information, sh information sharing and transparency on this promotional program. Why transparency? Uh, I'm sorry to say that last year when we uh, promoted um, uh, about five of the, um, our senior lecturers to associate uh, professors, we had to pause and apologize to some who applied to become an associate professor for five years. It's not well. We need to do better. Measuring success. Establish metrics to make sure efforts to support faculty development and expand diversity are effective through inclusive reports, policy reviews, advisory committees and measurements, focus groups, surveys, and other research tools. The above mandate, which will be expanded to include areas of faculty needs, will be handled by the Pro Vice Chancellor in detail through the Dean's Committee, which will represent VVU's commitment to engaging the community, enhancing communication, and increasing transparency and accountability around faculty development and diversity. 
This process, however, is not an end of an, an end in and of itself. Our goal is to attract and retain a thriving faculty who will lead in producing quality research, provide exceptional customer care to our cherished students, and ultimately uphold our core values as a premier private chartered institution to become a 21st century institution of higher learning that effectively leverages the breadth of talents and expertise to serve its mission, VVU can and should do more to help all of its faculty and staff members and students reach their full potentials. It should also ensure that its faculty reflect the broadest possible range of viewpoints and experiences and that all members, regardless of their background, have as opportunities to feel part of a welcoming, inclusive, and supportive community and to learn from each other. Following the rising tide metaphor, Council Chair, we believe that enabling our faculty boats to rise will lift everyone and will ideally make VVU more attractive to potential students, staff, and faculty of all background. And I can confess that after witnessing this, our students, especially the lady female students, don't you, don't you want to achieve this? Okay, don't be lazy. You know your teacher wasn't lazy. <laughs> and finally, Pastor. Finally, Pastor, Chair. Today, we honor an individual who has risen through the ranks and deserving to be enrolled into the professorial ranks at Valley University to serve her nation here in Ghana and internationally. Achieving this height was not a, on a silver platter. It came through a combination of one, teaching excellence. And if I talk about teaching excellence, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because ask her and ask some of you, did you see me in her class? Ah, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> ask her. I came, in, I came spying on her teaching. And you didn't realize that. Yes, I visit my faculty members in their classes. And when I go there, I spy to see what is going on. And let me tell you a story. When I get to her class, it's full of joy. Your, your clapping, your clapping and noise is not good. When I reach her class, it's full of joy. You see, when you see teachers that teaches and they involve all the body, everything, <laughs> both spirit and flesh are teaching. We hope you, eh? <laughs> she has published and excelled in her field. In 2021, she received a national award, the Best Researcher of the Year Award. And that, and that is a national award of excellence. She has served her community par excellence. She has a strong community service credentials. She has qualified to be enrolled into the rank of associate professor at Valley View University. The UAPC University Appointments and Promotions Committee recommended her name for promotion to the academic board. And the academic board approved the recommendation and forwarded her promotion. The academic board approved her name for promotion and recommended her pro promotional profile to the University Council, which unanimously voted to accept her into the associate professorial rank. <laughs> and now I present to you, dear Council Chair, our Dr. Stella Pia to be inducted as Professor Stella Pia.
Congratulations, Madam Shepherdess, by his side, Professor Selapia. Praise the Lord. Another round of applause. VC, thank you for such a powerful message. Pianist, can you give us a musical interlude? Thank you, thank you, uh, organist. We have now come to the climax of today's induction program. On your program, you see Robin and Insignia. I will humbly invite our distinguished vice chancellor in the person of Professor. William K. Kumsin and uh, Professor Winfred Ofo Lakote to do that for us. And because she is a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Osafo, uh, you are last shepherdess to go. <laughs> okay, because uh, she's a lady, we will invite her mom to come and help us to robe her. So please come.
Before we present her to you, I think it will be appropriate for the man himself to come and stand by him. <laughs> so now, you know what it is? You know, amazing story. And God is wonderful. So if we are to introduce this couple, how are we going to introduce them? <laughs> <laughs> Who can help me? Who can help me? Who can, can you help me? <laughs> okay, so we want we want we want the husband to come and stand by her because the husband is also our faculty member. Hello, and a professor. So we want him to be by her before the next process will continue. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A round of applause. Another round of applause. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I will kindly invite the other members of the family to join the two professors, the children to join dad and mom, two professors. <laughs> I will now humbly invite the council chair to give the uh, consecration prayer to the couple. You want to turn? Turn and look at me. Shall we stand as we pray? All good things come from you, our Father in heaven. And today is no exception. We're grateful for the good things you have done for Valley View University, the wonderful things you have done for the Apia family. Today we have two professors in this same house, or five. You have done it. We'll give you all the praise and we'll give you all the glory. We thank you for their lives, for their ministries, and for their service. And we thank you for what you have done to them and through them to other people. In a very special way this afternoon, we ask for blessings, especially on the latest professor of the university. We ask that you will grant her more wisdom, knowledge, understanding, insight, to be able to do the work that she has chosen to do in ministering to people, not just knowledge, but knowledge of God that leads to salvation. We pray for more patience for her. We pray for more humility for her. We pray that love between her and the husband, in spite of both of them being professors, will increase. And that this family will be a loving, lovable family, peaceful and a place of joy and satisfaction. We pray that what you have done in this family will cause them to be more effective in reaching out to other people, in touching lives, and in winning souls for your kingdom. In the classroom, in the office, wherever they find themselves, may they pull in their resources, pull in their strengths and talents and, and giftedness together. May they be able to bless many more people. 
Valley View University should be benefiting from this family. And we pray that as you bless them, may they bless the university. There may be challenges in the life of this family, especially the life of our inductee today. We ask that, Lord, you will grant her all it takes to be able to overcome them so the family will be blessed and the investee as well. We're looking forward to a time when we will appear before your throne when you would robe us again. And that you would give out white robes and crowns and harps and many other things. When it is time to do this, remember the family of the peers where we have professors and all the children. May they be numbered amongst your people in the kingdom. And so we can look back and say, God, you grant the ministries, you have used them powerfully, and you have brought them into your kingdom. May this be their experience. We ask for physical and spiritual health and strength. We pray for more intelligence and wisdom to do your work. We pray for protection, physical and spiritual. We pray for new gates or doors to be opened unto the hair and all of them. We pray for more favors and more blessings in their lives. There must be areas you want them to cover that they have not yet covered. We pray in a very special way for her that you will open these doors to her and that she will go through them and do much more than we expect. We want to thank you for what you have done. We want to thank you for what you are doing in her life. We want to thank you for what you are about to do in her life. May this be her experience and the experience of the family. In the name of our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Shall we be seated? But please be upstanding here. Yeah? I will now uh, humbly invite the prophecy to come up stage and do a special presentation. Um, uh, Council Chair VC. Before I do this, I would like all faculty members to stand and let's give a minute of applause for our, our newly inducted professor, Alice. We are proud of her, right? And I'm, uh, Prof, we are proud of you and God bless you. Please be concerned. So, on behalf of the management of the university, we would like to present this citation to you in testament of your induction today. I would like to take the time to read it. Prof. Stella Apia, congratulations. Associate Professor of Nursing Administration. At an emergency virtual, that's the 65th sitting held on Tuesday, March 26th, 2024, the University Council approved your promotion to the rank of Associate Professor of Nursing Administration. The university sees this as a milestone in its development effort and shares with you in this great achievement. Your entire community congratulates you on your academic prowess and for raising the status of the university faculty high. May you continue to propel Valley View University on the path of excellence, integrity, and service. Are you cool? Signed by the, the, the vice chancellor, and Secretary to Council, Prof. William Kofi Kumsin. Shall we give a round of applause as I share? Another round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Members of the constituency here present, the chair of the university's governing council, Pastor Dr. Thomas Tetiokran, other members of the university governing council here present, the vice chancellor, Professor William Kofi Kumsin, other key officers of the university, members of the academic board, members of ARTCOM, deans, directors, and heads of departments, colleague lecturers and staff, colleague members of the Shepherdess International here present, <laughs> members of the Ministerial Association, my dependable and supportive husband, <laughs> Professor John Apia, my lovely children, David, Dennis, Daniel, and Deborah. The leadership of the Students' Representative Council and the Nursing and Midwifery Students' Association. Beautiful and articulate nurses and midwives. <laughs> Students, ladies, and gentlemen. Today is a great day and I'm most grateful to the Almighty God for granting us this memorable day. It has been long years of academic journey, but the good Lord has seen me through and will certainly see me to the academic promised land. The many years of dedicated service and hard work, both as a professional nurse and an academia have resulted in what we have just witnessed today. I cannot take this glory alone as the selfless contributions of many individuals, important persons in my life have culminated in this academic success. The significant roles of my dear mother and that of my caring husband cannot be overemphasized. These persons, just like Professor Seth Lai, who saw that key thing in me and decided to put me on board to help with the nursing program. I cannot forget Professor Brimpon Ousuenchi. Dr. Lydia Andrews, the first head of nursing at Valley View University. Professor Dr. Dr. Daniel Boer. Professor Daniel Kwame Bediakon. Professor Robert Osebonsu. Professor William Kofikum Singh. And the last but not the least, Professor Ninon P. Ametel. <laughs> have in their own ways contributed in this milestone that we celebrate today as an institution. I am also proud to recognize the contribution <laughs> the contribution and the relationship that the professional guidance and the unflinching support I have enjoyed over the years from the leadership of the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana, from the days of Reverend Veronica Dakon to Mr. Felix Kwaminyante, and most recently under the leadership of Mrs. Philomena Willey. What is more, mention needs to be made of my colleague lecturers at the School of Nursing and Midwifery for their dedication and commitment to the growth and sustenance of the program at the Valley View University. Yes, indeed, today is a day of recognition. I sincerely want to share the joy with my children, especially Denise Ajimayapia, my second born, whom I joined Valley View, was only two weeks old. And I had to journey through the MPhil program with him. He was born on the 3rd of August. I had to start school on the 17th of August with him, and he cooperated. In fact, among the four children, he was the one who never gave me any problem. <laughs> With his siblings, David, 
who is presently not here with us in school at the KNUST, Daniel and Deborah. He, together with his siblings, have been inspiring and have remained such a pillar in my life. I would like to also recognize the creator whose strengths in times of difficulties have been very great. My co-authors of the various publications, I cannot but mention all of them. I say thank you to all, including both current and old students of the School of Nursing and Midwifery. Thank you all very much. Through our concerted efforts, that this significant milestone has been achieved. Finally, I hereby accept my new rank as an associate professor. And by the grace of God, as I have been inducted today, it remains my utmost vision to work assiduously in order to achieve a full professorial rank and lift the image of the noble profession of nursing and midwifery and the university high. So help me God. Thank you and God bless our homeland Ghana. Long live Ghana. Long live the School of Nursing and Midwifery, the Valley View University. May the Lord bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Another round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. The newest professor on campus. Thank you. Thank you. Now, a musical interlude. Musical interlude. SDH 341. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. We thank God for great things he has done, really. At this time, I'll crave the indulgence of the council chair to invite reps to come and give congratulatory messages. Reps from the various schools Reps from the extension campuses, reps from SRC, reps from Ministerial Association and Shepherdess, in that order. <laughs> so, a rep from a school of nursing and midwifery. Articulate nurses. Now we have articulate professor. 
Congratulations, Professor Stella Apia. All protocols observed. Congratulations to my senior colleague of the nursing profession. Today, by God's grace, you have made it. You are now an ASO prof, and I am so proud of you. I know the students of School of Nursing and Midwifery are proud of you. People! Glory be to God for your new achievement in the academic ladder. We thank God for your hard work, dedication, and um, helping you to climb this academic ladder. The faculty, staff, and the whole student body of the School of Nursing and Midwifery, Valley View University, say are you equal to you, Dr. Stella O, oh, Professor Stella Apia. Ayuko, I believe that by God's grace, you can reach the highest, most place that you want to be. Ayuko, our newest professor. professor, Stella, Dr. Apia. Ayuko, thank you so much. Thank you, followed by School of, uh, School of Graduate Studies, the Dean or Vice Dean. All right, to Professor Stella, I say congratulations. And to the family, I also say th congratulations. We thank God for this milestone. It's not just a milestone of dedication. It's a milestone of increased learning, knowledge, and contribution. So now that we have two associate professors in nursing, we want to see that the School of Nursing comes to the graduate school. And we want to see the graduate program enrolled as, as <laughs> nursing. So we want to see the articulate nurses become graduate students as well. So once again, we say congratulations. God bless you. Dean, Faculty of Science, or his assignee. Dean, Faculty of Science. Shall we welcome him with a round of applause? Good evening, all protocols observed. Citation from the Faculty of Science, Valley View University. The Faculty of Science on this day congratulates you on the great feat you have achieved, not only for yourself, but for the university. We can't wait to see you climb to the highest stage of attaining few full professorial status. We will all congratulate and join you, rejoice with you, and again rejoice with you. We share your achievements and hard won wisdom and reputation as a Christian educator, researcher, and a scholar. Continue the good works you started in 2007 when you single-handedly commenced the nursing program here at Valley View University and continue to sustain the quality of the nursing program and the entire university to date. In the annals of Valley View University, your name will be written in gold. Congratulations, Professor Stella Apia, on behalf of the Faculty of Science. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I invite someone from the Fraternity of Professors to be upstage to give a congratulatory message. All protocol observe. I'm not used with this terminology, but ladies and gentlemen, are we okay with that? Yes. All right. Professor Apia, 
on behalf of the professors who have, who have thread this path before you. I extend a heartfelt congratulations to you on achieving the rank of associate professor. This milestone marks a significant advancement in your academic career. In your academic career, reflecting your scholarly contribution to your field, nursing and midwifery. As you ascend to this higher academic rank, you are entering a phase where the art of relationships takes on a deeper meaning. There is a difference between relation and relationship, you know. Relation in regard to selfish ends is one-sided. For example, this morning I have this craving to have breakfast mango, local mangoes. So I drove, I got a car and drove to the where the uh, yes, where the toll booth used to be. I bought my mangoes. I came, I ate my mangoes, and I was pleased. I was satisfied. There is a difference between I said relation and relationship, because relation in regard to selfish end is a one-sided. It's a one-sided end. You see, I wanted mangoes. But in general, men, we eat bread, right? We eat bread daily. And for instance, man is in need of bread, like I was in need of mangoes this morning. He's in need of bread, but the bread is not in need of being eaten. Therefore, that's a relation. I don't see a relationship there. It illustrates the one side relation. With relationship, in this true sense, it is not merely about fulfilling one's own need, but about mutual benefit and growth. Just as a person needs bread to eat, the bread also fulfills its purpose of being consumed. In joining, in joining this academic community, community of professorship, we invite you to become an integral part of this team. Your insight will enrich our academic environment, fostering collaboration and furthering the pursuit of knowledge whose ultimate author is God himself. We look, we look forward to your continued success and contribution to our academic community. Once again, congratulations on this well-deserved achievement. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Now, Rev from School of Education. Shall we give him a round of applause? I don't have a written speech. But I'm going to tell about her history in two minutes. So in 2014, I got to Philippines. And when I got there, this same couple were in my room waiting for me. It was around 10.30 PM. And they were there waiting for me because a Ghanaian was coming. And they were waiting for me with a Ghanaian food. This shows how gracious both of you are. I also recall those days when you leave at dawn and go to Valenzuela to school and come back late in the night. And then you tell us stories about, you know, Filipinos who would not sit beside you when you are in the bus. We all experience that. Not that it is racial, but sometimes they are scared of us, the blacks. And Madame will tell us, well, I didn't talk to you This shows how tenacious she is. And I also remember the day you were graduating. You made me your right-hand man. 
And uh, I was proud of you. Because among the many Ghanaians, you selected me with your husband. And I was there on the podium with you. And I remember when you were collecting your prize. Cum laude, isn't it? Congratulations. And uh, today, I am representing the School of Education because my dean is on leave. And I don't know how it has coincided with this occasion. And so, on behalf of the School of Education, we congratulate you. We share uh, the same blog. We are inspired by your work. And I'm praying that at the next monumental jump, I will also be there. <laughs> Congratulations, and God bless you. Thank you, thank you, dog. The rep of School of Business. The rep, School of Business. Shall we welcome him with a round of applause? The rep, School of Business. All protocol observed. On behalf of the faculty and staff of School of Business, we also want to extend our congratulatory message to you. And on my own behalf, as a church member, you are my, in fact, she is my church member. And then she is the same time the, house, the wife of my church pastor. So I, I, I am saying this uh, because of the relationship we have at the various worship centers. We started from Bethel. We move on to Berean. And now we are in the main university church. We want to congratulate you once again. We are very much happy. And we believe that this achievement will serve as an inspiration for many of us, especially in the School of Business, because we have a couple of senior lecturers, and we know very soon you will hear greatly from School of Business. We are so much happy congratulating once again. I know some time ago the focus was on PhD holders. Now it is on what? Associate professors? Maybe few, few months or years to come, we'll see more of what? Full professors. And that is a journey of growth. And I pray that we all come along and we all grow to the glory of God. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Okansi. Rep from Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. Rep. Council Chair, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our Dean and uh, Dr. Michael Kodom, who couldn't make it, we would like to congratulate you, Professor Stella Apia, from all of us from FAST to say that we appreciate the working relationship we've had over the years and we are so proud for your achievements. And also from your friends from Legon, we say we are so proud of you and we appreciate what God has been able to do through you. Congratulations once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, our sister Susanna. Yeah, um, extension campuses, any rep here? Extension campuses, because of the electricity problem, I think we couldn't link them on. So, we will go to SRC Rep. Good evening. Honorable Council Chair, all protocols duly observed. This message is from the entire student population on all the campuses, all the extended campuses of Valley View University. And we say to Professor Stella that congratulations on your well-deserved promotion to associate professor. 
Indeed, your dedication to academia and commitment to excellence has truly paid off. And we wish you all the best and success and fulfillment in this new chapter of your career. And also we say, may God richly bless you and the family. Thank you so much. Thank you, SRC. Now, we... Hello. Hello. Yeah, I think I was going to cause a blunder for not inviting the NASA. <laughs> Good evening, all protocols duly observed. On behalf of the 700 plus students of the School of Nursing and Midwifery, I want to say I'm very excited to express my joy and excitement for your professorial degree and honors this evening. Words cannot be adequate to express our joy, even if this, even this speech is inadequate. We are super proud of you, Professor Salapia, you have been inspirational to many. Your love, dedication, commitment, and your duty has paid off. With, has paid off. Thank you for all your dedication and work as a lecturer, counselor, and a mother. A lecturer who knows everyone's name. Instills discipline, supports us, support, supports our spiritual, and emotional growth. You ensure that the work is done and done well. Yes. Congratulations, Professor Salapia. Continue to be a light and a motivation. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, the rep of Ministerial Association and Shepherdess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are coming in their numbers. Shepherdess. 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 Right by the side. Yes. All protocol observed. On behalf of the Ministerial Association and Shepherdess of Valley View University, I want to say congratulations to our Shepherdess <laughs> Professor Stella Apia. We know that she got to this level not by her might, yes. not by her power, but by the Spirit of God. Yes. And we also know that she sowed in tears, but she's reaping in joy. So now, by God's grace, that you have achieved this height or status, you know you are going to support your husband in working in God's vineyard. Our husband, <laughs> Professor John Apia, we thank you for your support for your encouragement, for your assistance, and everything that you did to support your wife. We love you. Yes. So, Shepherdess and Ministry Association, we are saying congratulations. Shepherdess! 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 Right by his side. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Drawing the curtains down.
on this memorable program, I will respectfully call the distinguished council chair to perform a special function. Many years ago, on a campus uh, of um, Babcock University at a seminary, one of the things, one of the regulations that uh, was uh, on campus was that uh, public display of affection was unacceptable. Uh, today, two professors are publicly displaying affection. Because they are professors, how can we complain? <laughs> it's been inspiring. This program has been very inspiring, been exciting. It's been reassuring. Uh, those of you who are waiting to have your turn, you know that it will happen. All you need to do is to keep working at it. And you have a vice chancellor who is determined to ensure that everybody gets his bit. And so you don't need to be discouraged. You don't need to um, lazy about, push, and you'll be assisted to get through it. We want to thank all of you for coming and making today a very uh, interesting event. This event being very interesting. Uh, on behalf of the Governing Council of Valley View University, I also wish to congratulate you and um, wish to see more of you. I am sure that a lot more ladies will be inspired to get going to. It's unfortunate that we are losing your husband. We hope we're not losing you either. Did you hear that? Yes. We are not losing her. Yes. Uh, it's enough. <laughs> that, that, that is tantamount to losing her. Because if the husband is gone and he's going to be right by his side, it means he's going to... <laughs> We pray she doesn't leave so that uh, they will manage to do the work, hers and then his. The ministries of both of them be expressed to the glory of God and to the benefit of our institutions. I think we have said enough, we have seen enough, we have enjoyed enough. It is time to bring this program to a close. By the powers conferred on me as a chair of the Governing Council of Valley University, I, Pastor Dr. Thomas Tichiokran, hereby declare this induction assembly duly dissolved. In the name of God, our Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Now, closing him. SDH 559. Now, thank we all are going. Shall we all be upstanding? Shall we receive the benediction? O oh God, who loves beautiful things and who ensures that the beautiful things are done rightly and perfectly, we thank you for this day that you have crowned the effort of our loving sister, Professor Stella Pia with the honors that we have all witnessed. And we are praying that it will be a road paved for higher heights of successes for the family and by extension for the entire university. Lord, bless us. 
Lord, dismiss us in your name. Lord, go with us. And Lord, prosper this family and all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah, on behalf of administration, I want to express my sincere gratitude to you all for honoring this invitation and participating massively to make this program a success. God richly bless you all. Amen. We are now bringing the program to a close. But if you look at the program outline, we have photo opportunity with our newest professor. So the photographer, after the recession of the platform party, photographer, you take over and let us do the needful. Thank you. Uh, Julius, are we taking the pictures outside or inside? Inside. I inside. Shall receive the prize. The